understanding your spine and disc pain. Navigating the complexities of your back or neck pain diagnosis can be challenging. There are a wide range of treatments that may or may not work for your condition. The first step in finding your best path to relief starts with understanding the underlying cause. Your spinal column is comprised of vertebral bones with a soft intervertebral disc for cushioning each vertebra. Paired facet joints in the back help support the spine while still allowing twisting and bending. There are seven cervical vertebra in your neck, 12 thoracic and five lower lumbar vertebra. Identified by their placement, common diagnosis for neck pain may involve C6 or C7. In the low back, L4, L5 is frequently problematic. Looking at each segment, the nerve roots exit the spine through holes in the back of the vertebra called foraminal openings. Herniated disc, degenerated disc, or facet joint problems can cause compression of the nerve root at these openings. This kind of compression can lead to pain or possible neurological symptoms along the nerve pathway through the limbs. These arm or leg symptoms are called radiculopathy or sciatica. Intervertebral discs are the shock absorbers of our spine. The durable outer portion of the disc is called the annulus fibrosus. It surrounds a jelly-like center called the nucleus propulsus. A herniated disc occurs when the outer disc walls break down, possibly due to compression or injury. As a result, the inner portion of the disc begins to leak out. When the leaking disc material pushes up against the nerves and other tissues in the region, it may become a herniated disc. Additional terms for this condition include bulging disc, slip disc, rupture disc, or pinched nerve. A herniated disc will often irritate a nearby nerve and cause aching pain, weakness, and numbness that travels down the leg or arm. It may start as a sharp or burning shooting pain. Severe cases can cause you to stumble, have trouble lifting objects, or even struggle with bladder control. A healthy disc is typically soft, full of water with a springy, almost rubbery quality. When you jump up and down, run, or walk, the stacked bones of your spine are spaced apart by the disc. Nerves to the arm and legs remain unimpeded, and the vertebral bones don't hit each other or break when we move. Disc cushioning is essential to every aspect of everyday life. Yet discs can wear out. Whether due to age-related wear, lifestyle factors, or genetic predisposition, a degenerated disc loses its plump, fluid-filled texture and begins to dehydrate, shrink, and flatten out, thus causing pain. Pain may be worse when sitting because the disc then bears a greater load and can no longer properly absorb the increased pressure or stress. If the disc space collapses enough to compress a nerve root, radiculopathy or sciatica may also result. As degeneration of the disc progresses, these changes in the disc can lead to arthritis, disc herniation, or spinal stenosis. The facets are small joints in the back of the spine surrounded by cartilage and synovial fluid to keep them lubricated. They provide low-bearing support to the spine and help with a wide range of movements like bending. Facet joint disorders typically occur alongside disc problems and can have overlapping symptoms. Degeneration of the intervertebral disc may result in concurrent degeneration of the lumbar facets as well. Understanding Intervertebral Differential Dynamics IDD Therapy Surgical intervention for back pain is common. The best medical doctors suggest surgery only after you've exhausted all non-surgical options. Most will recommend exercise-based physical therapy first, followed by epidural injections. Often, prescription drugs, though dangerous, are also prescribed. But there is another option. Randomized trials suggest degenerative disc and herniated disc respond to treatments that properly and safely manipulate the spine. IDD therapy on the acuspinous system was developed by neurosurgeons who recognize even serious back pain can often be resolved without surgery. IDD therapy is an advanced form of spinal decompression treatment that allows the body to heal many back and neck problems without injections or invasive surgery. 
In an IDD therapy treatment session, the acuspinous system applies targeted decompressive forces at a precise and mathematically calibrated angle based on your body type and diagnosis to create rehabilitative spinal mobilization. The pressure rate gently fluctuates in a sinusoidal wave pattern, like a pumping movement between the vertebrae, gently repositioning the dysfunctional spine segment. By lowering intradiscal pressure significantly below zero millimeters of mercury, these negative pressures inside the disc can work like a vacuum to help pull the leaking material back towards the center of the disc. As dynamic energy at treatment site increases, so does the space around the injured disc. Surrounding muscle elongation begins. Sensitivity of nerve fibers are lessened. Segment-specific IDD therapy treatment on the acuspina works to relieve pressure off the injured disc and free up the effective nerve root non-surgically. During the height of your IDD therapy treatment, a second waveform is introduced to the spine, oscillation. Unique to IDD therapy treatment, the acuspinous system also produces oscillatory signaling. These micro vibrations seek to alter the neuropathway communication, also known as proprioceptor signaling, to enhance natural tissue regeneration at a cellular level and further improve nutrient diffusion, essential to disc repair. Treatment sessions are so comfortable, many patients fall asleep. Research studies funded by the National Institute of Health conducted at Mayo Clinic, as well as others performed by medical doctors associated with Emory, Harvard, and other leading health institutions, confirm dramatic reduction in pain and disability can be achieved non-surgically with IDD therapy treatment on the acuspinous system. Pre and post MRIs also confirm how IDD therapy treatment can help a disc bulge shrink. Disc rehydration is also evidenced on MRI showing measurably increased disc height and fluid retention after a full treatment course. In one independent neurosurgical study conducted on over 500 patients referred to have surgery, 92% achieved relief with IDD therapy treatment instead of surgery. Boasting the only 20-year excellence and safety record, the Acuspina is the only spinal therapy and decompression system to win patent after patent for exceptional disc treatment capabilities. Only IDD therapy treatment has shown in multiple peer-reviewed studies to be not only highly effective, but also long-lasting, with most patients reporting they continue to experience improvements one full year after completing treatment. No other spinal decompression can claim the success because no other decompression has our patented oscillating logarithmic curve. Now you can restore the performance of a younger, healthier spine without the high risk and expense of surgery. Ask your doctor if you're a good candidate for IDD therapy treatment on the Acuspinous system, one of the most studied, safest spinal treatment system for non-surgical disc pain relief. Visit IDDTherapy.com to find a provider near you.